listen and I'm not gonna let you out of my sight You can call me killer Cause I'll bring you to the light And it might taste bitter When you're answering to God You can call me killer As you look into my eyes Nothing but a sinner Hello everyone, good morning and good afternoon for any of those who are not in the United States. <laughs> uh, I'm doing this early in the morning because I think it's way better to do it early 
uh, in the morning, and also I don't have to worry about a uh, um, good old um, all that. Hi, Frost. How's it going? Welcome to the eggnog special. There you go. Hope you enjoy. Uh, the fireplace ambience is by. By Fireplace 4K. <laughs> so, uh, if you'd like to <laughs> have yourself a little fireplace for your, uh, to watch or kind of have there, um, Fireplace 4K is what I'm using today. Um, for <laughs> the fireplace, anyway. How's everyone's morning so far? Or afternoons? Or how, how's, how about just how, uh, but how's everyone's day so far? <laughs> And uh, it can't be an eggnog special if you don't have eggnog with you. I made me a nice good old batch of eggnog for my enjoyment this morning. I warmed it up. Got some, uh, oh nice. It got, finally got into the FF14. Alright. Um, I'm going to have you guys just sit by the uh, fire for just a little bit. Uh, I will be right back.
All right, I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, family gets really annoying sometimes. Cause they wanted me to do shit, and I was like, "Well, I'm fucking streaming right now," and they were like, "Well, I need you to do this shit for me real quick." I'm like, "Ah," <laughs> you know. You know how it is. All right, how should we start this? Um. How should we? I see. Um. So, anyone got any interesting stories uh, about Christmas or just winter in general? You know? Um, I could start first, you know? I. I had a roommate that, uh. Oh. Hello, Dragon. Uh, Dr Dragon's Dream Heart. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. That's good. That's good. The eggnog special is here. Um, although I didn't really do any kind of thing for it. I just kind of was like, hey, you know, eggnog special. <laughs> um, like on Twitter, that was it. Um, and also on all the discords but uh yeah as uh, I'm going along this is just gonna be me just playing around having fun uh, trying to figure out what the fuck I'm gonna do for this special as I wait for a sibling of mine to come pick up something how I actually got called off work because we had no salt trucks because Florida decided a little bit of snow was too much and they just <laughs> forgetting how bad winter is up here and we didn't have any salt thanks to them yeah no the funny thing about that was uh is actually I, I went to Florida um uh the summer after that winter and my parents not Florida but like Georgia particularly and uh, my uh, my dad and his, uh, my stepmother were like oh yeah they called it like a national emergency for that winter uh, especially in Florida and I was like damn if it's a national emergency because Florida got an inch of snow that is that's just ter that's terrible Just imagine Florida going down for an international emergency because of snow. That's funny. But uh, that's what I presume that you're talking about the or that snowstorm. Um, back a couple years when they had snow. Uh, I definitely remember hearing that, uh, especially from my dad who lived it down in Georgia at that time. All right. Yeah, uh, black ice is really bad. But um, I've I've hit some black ice myself um, because you just can't see it. Uh, I swerved. I didn't. I didn't actually go off the road. I just swerved a little bit. And thankfully, everyone else was like, hey, it's cold outside and there's black ice. I don't feel like driving today. And I'm over here like, oh, I need to grab shit because uh, I'm a lonely college student that has, or doesn't have any way of having snacks. <laughs> Let me go to Walmart real quick. <laughs> because I'm an idiot. I mean, like, this last winter that we had was really bad uh, here in Kansas anyway because uh, we were also down pretty pretty negative that day or this year uh, no, well not this year but like last winter I, I don't I think it got that low but I could be wrong uh, I also I wasn't in uh, my hometown which apparently had gotten down to like negative th um, 
well, negative 13 uh, during the day, but like it was like negative 25 during night. Or something like that. I was like, what the fuck? But I know my, or like my college town didn't get that bad. It got down pretty low, negatively anyway, but it didn't get too terribly low. Uh, I'm gonna just mute me real quick for just a split second. Back, uh, I had some. I had a visitor come and uh, say hello to me um, off stream. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, while we're while we're at it, uh, let's read a little bit of poetry. Uh, we're gonna start off with "Early Frost" by. Okay, by. Scott Carnes, I think that's how you say it. Uh, if you're wondering where I'm getting all this, it's uh, from the uh, Poetry Foundation. Uh, most of it. I think I have like one non-poetry foundation. Dash. Control V. There you go. So if you'd like to read along with me as I uh, read said poetry. Um, there, you go. there you go. Uh, also there's the who, who wrote it, who, uh, um, and what's the title of it? This morning, the uh, world's wide, or white face reminds us that life intends to become serious again. And the same loud birds that all summer long annoyed us with their high attitudes and chatter silently lined the gibble, er, gibbet of the fence I lined, or er, little sudden, or er, stunned, uh, chastened enough. I am uh, very bad at reading shit. <laughs> if you couldn't tell. They look as if they were waiting for things to grow worse, but are watching the house as if some uh, somewhere in their dim memories dim memories, they recall something about this abandoned garden that could save them. The neighbor's dog has also l learned to wake without exaggeration, and the neighbor himself has made it to his car with less noise, there, uh, starting the small engine with a kind of reverence. At the window, his wife witnesses bleak tabaloo, blinking her eyes silently. I fill the feeders on the top and cart them to the tree, hurrying back inside to leave the morning to those ridiculous birds who remind it find the rough shelter bow and then feed. Uh, and that was Early Frost by Scott Keynes. Uh, hopefully <laughs> I didn't screw that so fucking bad. Um, yeah, I got a couple more. Um, and some from an in-house uh, poet uh, of the show. So. Uh, I, I don't think I told you guys my story. Yeah, I know. I just... I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm a little nervous streaming, period, but, you know. Usually, I'm not this bad. Um, I get worse, though. I can get worse, anyway. 
I've uh, I, I did poetry for uh, competition purposes, and uh, let's just say I did pretty well. Um, that was just with an audience of like at most three people, usually anyway. So I am not. I, I think I'll be fine. I just I'm just very nervous. Um. So. All right. Uh, where did we leave off? Uh. Oh yeah, winters. So I had a very interesting roommate. My uh, spring. Yeah, I I understand that. Although I have time to prep, I didn't have so much enough time to prep for these. <laughs> uh, because I was just like, hey, I know I'm gonna be doing this. I kind of really want to do this, you know. I should just get it over with. Uh, just rip the band-aid off, I thought. No, let's not prepare any of this. Just Let's just wing it. Call it a day. <laughs> kind of how, how <laughs> this, this idea went. <laughs> it was like, I want to do this idea. I'm just going to just rush into it. Not even worry. That's generally how my ideas go. Um... Now, granted, I did put a little, uh, a little thought into the uh, Idle Blast stuff. I mean, I although I jumped into streaming just like that, and I was just like, yeah. But uh, yeah, but yeah, my uh, my dorm. I lived in a dorm my first year of college, and uh, my the spring semester came around, and my previous roommate was like, nah, I'm, I'm done with you. I don't want to be your roommate anymore. I don't like all sad. It was like, and then I was by myself for a week. Um, well, I think it was two weeks. I was really bored. I was really bored because I had no one to talk to. And, uh, classes didn't start up for another couple days. So I was just sitting in a room most of the time by myself. Um, now, I did have other friends at the college, but Malfugi was busy, um, and so was Hannah. Um, yeah, I had a I had a friend whose name was Malfugi, um, and let me tell you about Mr. Malfugi. Is uh, he's, he's he's a very good friend. Um, so and I don't th this is a personal story of mine, so uh, so I don't I don't think. Also, I'm not telling you guys his last name, even though that's also kind of, kind of good or kind of funny as well. But uh, Mr. Malfugi, um, uh, he he was in the uh, uh, information technology um, little sector, I guess. I don't know what you would call him. He was going for his uh, information technology major. Uh, but he would always come to me and be like, "Hey, you might help me out with my programming homework." And I was like, "Yeah, I don't mind." Like, he was like, you seem, like, when I, when he first met me anyway, he, he was like, uh, do you, do you program much? And I was like, yeah, I program. I've, I've programmed for a couple of years now. It's like, do you know how to do Python and like C, or not C sharp, uh, what was it? I think he was working on Java as well for one of his classes. It's like, yeah, I know how to do those. Those aren't too hard, especially Python because that is my number one programming language. Um, particularly for the fact that, uh, um, I, that's what I kind of did in high school a lot of the time was Python, and that's kind of what I learned as my, not my first language. My first language I thought was, I was, it would be very useful was CoffeeScript. Oh, how I was very wrong, how useful CoffeeScript is. Uh, the only thing you use CoffeeScript for is if you build a very, very poor game um, maybe with Scratch, and that's it. I, I'm just saying. <laughs> Not very many games are made with CoffeeScript. Um, and even that, I mean, CoffeeScript is kind of bad. I mean, if you, you learn CoffeeScript, that's kind of cool. I just don't recommend it. <clears throat> um, I think the, the next one after that I tried learning was Java. And, uh... 
and I started getting on to Python, and Python was my number one. I actually have a Python's reference book just in case I ever need to program in Python again. Wonderful book, you know. It's not, it's not, it's just pocket size, so I can just fit it in my pocket and call it a day. And it's just good to have. Although I use a lot more uh, online references nowadays. I use like W3 schools and stuff like that to do programming. Uh, back to the story about Malfugi. Um, he, uh, like when we first, like we first hang out, it was just like, we just, we just did a lot of programming in his like little dorm room, which was kind of fine. Um, and then the next time uh, we met, I was like, uh, so what do you need help with this time, Alfugi? Your uh, Nigerian prince email scams? And he was like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, all right, <laughs> what, what, what's the problem? <laughs> and that's, that's a joke between me and him. You know, he, he, he found it funny too, you know. So it, wasn't, it didn't bother him. Now, I wouldn't do that if it was just, like, some random person that I, I just learned about, like, learned and, like, talked to. Um, like, and clearly he knew it was a joke. I wasn't meaning anything uh, very negative about it. But yeah, that's that's Malfugi, though. And I'm still good friends with him. I still talk to him. Hannah, on the other hand, we uh, we don't talk about Hannah. Uh, it's not It's not because I messed up. Well, I guess I did mess up, but that uh, but that could be a story for another uh, another point. Uh, but for my spring semester roommate, which it wasn't spring when I got back, it was like mid January when he finally showed up, and then like February was when I think that snowstorm hit, that really bad one last year, or well earlier this year, um, and it was just like. E. And he was like, oh, the snow, what a wonderful sight. And I was like, bruh, it's just snow. And he's like, you got to remember, Zach, I'm not from America. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I forget. Although this is the same roommate that uh, thought or thought that the uh, lunch lady gave uh, him soap instead of soup. Uh, that's a that's a story. That's a that's a really other that's another funny story of mine that I remember about college. Um, but yeah, it, I I understand since that wasn't his first language, uh, it being he didn't understand, and soap and soup sound very very similar. Um, but yeah, like he was like, oh look at the wonderful snow, we should. We should go out there in negative 11 degree weather. And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> We're not going out there. He's like, we could go build a snowman. I've heard of stories about that and have snowball fights. And I'm like, are you sure? Have you not looked outside? It is negative degree or negative 11 degree weather, sir. We will freeze our... Uh, freeze our fingers off. I was going to make that so much worse. So much uh, dirtier than I thought or I wanted it. I had to, I had to quickly change that <laughs> before I for messed up there. Um, but yeah. Whew. But uh, we, we did eventually go outside and went and played in the snow for like a good five minutes and then he was like I'm really cold. Let's go back inside. I was like, yeah, let's do that. Um, and then, like, shortly after that, uh, the power went out. So, our, like, our rooms, like, slowly became cold. And me and him just, like, sat, like, in our room, kind of, like, under the blankets. Um, neither of us <laughs> had a good service at the time. I think I was still on... Um, no, I was on Verizon at that point. So, and yeah. Uh, let's just say I do not like Verizon. Uh, Verizon bad. Um, I won't get... I won't slander them too much because I'd rather not have a cease and desist letter come to my door. Uh, so, we're going to just keep it at that. 
but uh, although the internet down there was still sucks ass, or still sucked ass anyways, although they only had like one internet provider down there, which was uh, Cox Internet. Uh, I mean, if you ever have to use Cox Internet, you're kind of bad. Let's get into our next poet uh, poem. Uh, let me get that one real quick. So this one is falling leaves and early snow. By Kenneth Rexroth. get the uh, link real quick control C control V and there you go all right in the yearly or in the years to come they will say they fall like the leaves in the autumn of 19 er, 1939 November has come to the forest to the meadows where we picked the cyclamen. The years fade with the fro uh, white frost on the brown set er, sedge in the heavy er, hazy meadows where the deer truck tracks where black in the morning ice forms in the shadows behaved maple hangs over the winter. Deep golden sunlight glistens on the shrieking stream. Solemn trot moved thoroughly pillars of blonde and gold the yellow maple leaves edgy above them the glistening leaves of the cotton woods the all of velvet velvety ander leaves the scarlet dogwood leaves most piquant of all and the afternoon thin blades of cloud move over the mountains the storm clouds follow them Fine rain falls without wind. The forest is filled with wet, resonant silence. When the rain pauses, the clouds clinging to the cliff and the water falls. <clears throat> in the evening, the wind char uh, changes. Snow falls in the sunset. We stand in the snowy twilight the and watch the moon and watch the moon rise in a bleach of cloud. Between the black pine lies, narrow bland, uh, bands of midnight or mid, or moonlight glisten with floating snow and owl cries in the sifting darkness. The moon has a sheen like a glacier. Whew. That was a mouthful. Um, also because it also doesn't help that I'm nervous and have a list. Uh, should we talk a little bit more, or should we uh, start reading, or go on with another poetry piece? While you guys decide that real quick. My eggnog's getting real cold, and that's, uh, it's not tasting as good. Like, when I say this is an eggnog special, I mean it. Like, I have eggnog over here with me. Like, <laughs> you guys need to sit down and have a glass yourself. Um, I kind of made mine. Uh, I made mine with, uh, 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 like the Walmart brand eggnog. Um, some of the, uh, Walmart brand, like, pumpkin pie coffee creamer and uh, pumpkin pie spice 
great value. All Walmart stuff. Uh, not sponsored, but wish I was. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess I am sponsored in a way. I'm just, I just have to work <laughs> at their Walmart for that instead of sponsored. Uh, what they don't know, they won't won't hurt them. I totally wasn't looking at another poetry piece, and then was like, e that's a little long. That's not." Um, yeah. I mean, I guess I could do more long pieces. I don't think I have the other one kind of pulled up. We'll see. You know, I don't think this is working as I uh, I kind of thought and or intended. Uh, so you know, <laughs> uh, so I think I'll read uh, another piece of poetry and then I guess we'll probably play some games. Uh, is there any games you guys rather like to see? Um, I actually now that I think about it, uh, I think. Kit probably wants me to play like Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, I need to figure out how to set that up though. So uh, I'll probably play that later tonight. If I still play tonight. I don't know yet. We'll see. I think I'll have two streams tonight. Especially since I'm doing this eggnog special. Uh, and I, I don't plan on having this very long. Uh, you know what? We can finish off where I left off yesterday with uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, the next one we're going to look at before uh, I switch over to something else. There you go, you horny cat. Bye. Turday. There's our second one, that'll uh, help you out. Also, I just now realized my chatterbox is so uh, um, not good color uh, for this. Uh, let me change that to black real quick because uh, I reset it. Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, oh well. Sitting under the mistletoe, one last candle burning low. All the sleepy dancers gone, just one candle burning on. Shadow lurks everywhere. Someone came and kissed me here or there. Tired I was, my head would go, nodding under the mistletoe. One foot came, no voice, but only just as I sat there sleepily lonely. Stood in the still and shadowy air, lips unseen, and kissed me there. 
I haven't rhymed a bit. Uh, I, I'm, I do very well when it rhymes, I guess. Um, I, I, I don't know. I guess I like the rhyming ones slightly better. I, you know, I think that will do for our poet, uh, poetry section uh, for the day. Um, as much as I liked doing this, I don't think I'll do the, another one of these because uh, as I've found or kind of find, I do not like, uh, I am not very good with this as I thought I was. So we will see uh, where this takes us. Um, so let me, we're gonna put it right quick on be right back. Um, even though I have not left, clearly. Um, let's remove some of that because we don't need any of that anymore. Have that there, put that back over here. Quickly hop into here. Okay. Welcome there. All right. Hmm. Kingdom come deliverance. Now I get to wait for that to load. Because that'll take me a while. Because of me playing Kingdom Come, it does auto adjustment for my stream. Holy shit! I don't know about the rest of you, but that was loud for me. <laughs> I will probably adjust it later when. Charles the Fourth, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles's son, Wenceslas IV whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. <laughs> okay. Continue. Uh, Alright, time to put it on. Live scene. Uh, we can just close that. Oh, there we go. Settings. Sound. Fiat voluntas tua, sicut in celo et in terra. Panem nostrum super substantiale da nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra. Secret et nos dimissi. Uh, let's put that back up just a bit. Sed libera nos amare. real quick because you know
Oh no, I'm being attacked. And I'm gonna die. What the? Sadly, I can't do anything streamwise until I finish it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, let's see. Um. Update. Settings on YouTube. Okay. Go to hell, you Tatar beast! Most my relic land at the disco. Up the job, I'm yes! Here you have to kill for you! Me? Me? I am dead. I think what I'm supposed to do is distract them. And then get on the horse and run. So, we'll see. But, uh, you know, I gotta help her a little bit. But, uh, I can't help her without my sword out. In cities, they might even call a guard on you. Yeah. They'll do that, all right. Pigs, don't touch me, or I'll kill you. Yeah, I don't think Go they. Go to hell, you Tatar beast! Oh, damn! The shit I just thought I never would have shown on you. Ah! 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 Yeah. Shooting and just like air, air, air shooting, anyway. Yeah. Hamburg is to the left, along the stream.
getting very low on stamp. Run, guys, run! Someone give him a drink, and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you, and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning, and, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tatars? Tatars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. I, I don't know. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. And he's gonna go into shock. Yeah! Oh, go into shock. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. As good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You idlers. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? Sir, um, 
I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? No. I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Eat yes, sir. Some rest, and eh? nice. get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Well, the funny thing is, though, is um, a lot of people, from what I understand, will not like to try to stay, or will rather stay in their own home, knowing that if they lose everything, that it is over for them. So they'd rather die um, in their own home than worry about staying alive. Not not all, everyone, but like a couple people, or like a lot of people, not a lot of people, I should say, um, a couple of people, we'll say a couple. I think couple sound, or a couple of them sound better than a lot, or, or a few, I guess a few of them. Look out! You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. Oh, I've heard about your father. They say he was a swordsmith who moved to the countryside to make horseshoes. I can't understand why he'd waste his talents, but I'm sure he had his reasons. He had a fine reputation. Ah, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has oh, graced us with her presence. Now, lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojana here uh, will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry Why? as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes, thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. What was I supposed to do? Should I wash up? I guess I could. Cut 
Or try to do it anyway. Steal the apples too. <sighs> oh, God, uh, eat food. Boots off. He said so. <coughs> Actually, no, I think I uh, won't escape. Let's, let's wash up before we go to bed. Uh, is there a wash bin? could even sleep for more than four hours. Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes? Give the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Uh, my lady, uh, um, no, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. It's just what you need wine. to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a sermon. I was going to. But to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace. To let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. 
and it can help to talk about it, if you feel like it. You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. A fellow by the name of Kunish owed money to Father, who sent me to collect it from him. Only Kunish had no intention of paying. It got a bit heated, as often happens when there's money involved. But Kunish still wouldn't cough up the coin. Father was too generous for his own good, letting even a scoundrel like that buy on credit. Oh. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised Father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzi. The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzi himself came to have a look at it. He praised Father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind, the armour glinted in the sunlight and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. And then death descended on Scalitz. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund's butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one cumin after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armour, saw father and charged at him cut down my father without a thought and then he turned on my mother and he murdered her in cold blood you poor boy may the lord have mercy on their souls i ran to the castle like our neighbors to take cover but i didn't make it i had to find another way to save myself the men on the battlements called down to me to flee to talmberg and warn you i was lucky i knew a concealed path around the castle I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of Cuman savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. I'll never forget the horror. I believe this gives me better faith. It will haunt me for uh, the rest of my so life. Then make a, uh, make as a, uh, That's terrible. A female How could something like that happen? Not, not as like a partner, partner, partner. God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Well, there's a lot more to make it be worse, so. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although, in comparison to the horrors you went through... I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Hamburg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavets, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. 
I was barely 18 years old, and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Yeah. Good night, yeah. my lady. Oh no. <laughs> no! I hope, I hope that doesn't get me removed. probably would not say that, but, you know, this is his dreams, not, uh, not something that I think he's very... Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. Uh-oh. It's the Cummins. see you guys next time oh well actually I'm just gonna have it uh, um, switch over to um, you know we'll go read someone real quick uh, um, let me look up some quick VTubers that are, are streaming right now
so you will see. Oh, hey, why not? Um, we'll do this person. The underscore. Yeah. Let's go raid.